What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix, and today I'm gonna be reacting to My School Stories by Jaden Animations. Now, I really like Jaden Animations, and I have a, uh, I have a decent amount of school stories myself, so I could probably, uh, I could probably relate with a bunch of these, I think. But anyway, with that being said, the original link's in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to uh, Jaden Animations. Without any further ado, let's begin. I just recently realized that the majority of my school days are over. I don't know about anyone else, but I used to think to myself. Ugh, school's never gonna end. That's so true. It's so true. When I was in school, I was always like, oh, I just want the school to hurry up and get over with. And, you know, it goes by so fast. It goes by so fast. You don't, you don't feel it until it's basically over. Then you're like, wow, that went by way too fast. 12 years plus college is so long to spend just in school. And now, all of a sudden, it's practically over. And it's like, w what? What happened? Wait, I'm not ready to be an adult yet. And you know what else is scary? <laughs> That's so true. It's so true. I'm not ready to be an adult yet. Well, I mean, I'm I'm kind of an adult, but I mean, I'm still not an adult. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not gonna be one. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to participate in being an adult. Gary, I don't remember pretty much anything I learned from grade 6 up. It's just a jumble of English papers and random history I didn't care about. Kind of makes you question the That's education so true. system when you think about it. So, I don't remember a lot of the things I studied during school, but I do have a lot of dumb, random memories that I, for some reason, haven't forgotten about over the years. For example, in first grade, I lost my front left tooth in the middle of class and started bleeding all over the place. And the teacher had to stop <laughs> in the middle of class to get me a tissue and one of those little teeth envelopes to hold the tooth I just spat out. I don't know if schools still use those, but they were the funniest concept to me. Like, you come home, oh, mom, you got mail. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's not much. It's just my freaking gross saliva-covered baby tooth I ripped out of my head in the middle of school. Does school still do this? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever lost a tooth in school. I don't know. I remember, I think at one point I swallowed a tooth, I believe. But that was so long ago. That was so long ago. It's hard to remember that far back. I hope so. Oh, Jaden, that's a funny memory. I bet you don't remember what you were learning about while you bled on everything. Nope, you're wrong. We were learning about emperor penguins. Thanks for remembering all those important details, brain. Appreciate ya. I also remember everyone in school kind of fit into a category. Athletes, popular kids, nerds, and- That's how it is today. That's how it is today. I mean, you kind of- Birds of a feather flock together, as the saying goes, right? So you kind of stick- around with people that you are like, right? So that that's exactly how things work. Even in, you know, once you're done, once you're done high school and you're done school in general, it still kind of works that way. Because if you're a nerdy person, you know, you're going to be around nerdy people. And if you're like a, an athletic person, you're most likely going to be around athletic people. It just, it just goes that way, right? It just goes that way. Anime nerds, emos, you name them. What kind of kid was I in school? You guessed it. The quiet one who never talked at all. Growing up, I was a shy, quiet person, and I always only had one or two friends in a class, if any. I mean, I'm still pretty reserved, but I mean, <laughs> that's another point. I was so shy that one time my nose started bleeding randomly in the middle of a class, and I was too quiet to get up <laughs> and excuse myself to go to the bathroom or the nurse. Oh, it's so... I'm basically like that as well. Like, I could be friends with people, and in school, I was friends with a lot of people, for the most part. But I, I was so, like... I hated getting up in class. Like, when everyone's sitting down and you get up, naturally people are going to look at you. So I would never get up in class to go to the washroom or do anything unless there were multiple people standing up at once. It was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> So I silently just raised my hand waiting to get permission to leave and you know what happened? The teacher took five minutes to call on me. I spent five minutes panicking trying my best not to bleed on anything. <laughs> Looking back, there was a lot of blood involved in these memories. Ooh, uh, one time a teacher asked the class a question and a few people raised their hand but as he was looking around the room, we made eye contact. Oh god. Jaden! Crap. Everyone knows if you don't want to be called on, don't make eye contact. It's school 101. I- I don't know. Yep. He went on to someone else who had their hand raised, which he should have done in the first place. If someone doesn't have their hand raised, it means they don't have the answer. Don't be mad when you call on exactly. someone with their hand raised and they don't exactly. have the answer. Exactly! So he continued his lecture and I started calming down from the surprise spotlight. But a few minutes later, he had another question. Can anyone define a peninsula? Oh, I know what a peninsula is, but I don't know how to describe it, so I won't raise my hand. Jaden! What? 
<laughs> are you actually trying to give me a seizure? I, I, I don't... Do you know? No, but... I'm not smart, alright? But isn't the peninsula like, uh... It's a piece of land that sticks out from like a landmass and it's surrounded by water on three sides? Is that a peninsula? Because I don't friggin' know. But, n no, well, I, I mean, yes, I, I know what it is. Then he yelled, THEN TELL ME! The class laughed because he was being sarcastic. I thought it was funny too, but for some reason I almost started crying. He didn't call on me the rest of the year. <laughs> Alongside being the shy girl, I was also- The rest of the year? <laughs> also known as being the art kid. I think everyone who's artsy in school can relate. Whenever someone found out you like to draw, it would immediately turn to, You like to draw? Can you draw me? And the answer would always be, <laughs> Anyway, like the nice way of saying, haha, that's a silly question. No, of course I don't want to draw you. And several years later to this day, people are still asking me if I would draw them things. And the answer is still, haha. <laughs> No. In my middle school art class, on the last day of school, we had Denied. a little celebration end of the year art competition. Not a drawing contest, but a who's the most passionate about art and is most likely going to do something with it in their life and not just drop it and get a day job sitting in a cubicle all day contest. Me, having pretty much zero self-confidence, already accepted the fact that someone else would get it. I wasn't sad or anything, I just knew in my head people weren't going to vote for me because, one, I never really talked to people, and it was a class vote, and two, I don't know, I just didn't think I was good enough. But to my surprise, I actually won! I was so startled when hey. the teacher called my name, like, what? Me? I, are you sure? You don't want to count the votes again? Kathy's pretty good. Everyone likes Kathy. Frickin' Kathy. Then high school happened, and I met my high school art teacher. This guy was... I don't know how to describe him. I, I never really uh, was that much of an... Like, I, I am an art kind of person, but, like, I... I never really took it that much in high school. Like, I think I took it the first year in high school. I mean, I, I like art, but I think I'd rather focus on other things because I know getting uh, like um, a job related to art is really difficult. I mean, unless you're doing YouTube like Jaden Animations is, or you're doing like um, you have your own art studio or something like that where you do uh, drawings for companies or stuff like that, logo design or something. And unless you're doing that, the odds of you getting an actual job in the art field is very, very very low, so I, I kind of uh, focused on other things. Where was I going with this story? Screw it! I've never met someone so psychopathic. To start, he had this obsession with Pirates of the Caribbean, and even though there's nothing wrong with that, I mean, everyone has their fandoms. He would sit back at his desk and blast different remixes of the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack, even when <laughs> we were all trying to draw. He would hop up onto desks and scream, SWING YOUR SWORD! while whirling around Really? This is... <laughs> this teacher might need to be locked up in an asylum somewhere. In a golf club with a paintbrush taped to the end of it? No one knew what he meant. We didn't question anything. He hung a pirate flag on the emergency fire sprinkler. A bit of a safety hazard if you ask me, but again, no one questioned him. And one time on a random day of class... Arrgh! Draw me! <laughs> He burst through the door, dressed up completely like a pirate, screaming in people's faces and running around like a crackpot. I didn't take his class anymore. But that was not the end of Mr. Captain Jack Sparrow. So as crazy as that guy sounds, it would be a very um, entertaining class, shall we say. It would be very entertaining. I think that guy was born in the wrong, uh, in the wrong era. He would have been better in like the 1800s, right? When pirates were still around. I mean, they still are around today, except for they ride friggin' speedboats and hijack tankers or uh, whatever those big ships are called with um, cargo. So, uh, I mean, they aren't, they aren't like they used to be. Nope. You know why? Because he was one of the tennis coaches. Yep. And you all know who was on the tennis team. It wasn't that bad because he coached the boys team. His ex-wife coached the girls. She got fired later on for sleeping with the track teacher. But this story isn't about her. So he'd be <laughs> there while we were on the next court with her own drills. And one practice, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden he got super hyped out of nowhere and started yelling and making a commotion. And we all kind of just stopped and looked over at him like, okay, what's he doing? And then he started yelling. Was he and his wife fighting or something? Because that could have been, if, if that's his ex-wife, I mean, obviously they didn't get along that well, right? 
I'm gonna jump over the net! <laughs> and the rule of tennis for everyone out there is, don't jump over the net! We were all just standing there like, what the heck is going on? And then he started running to actually do it! And you know what happened? He safely jumped over the net. Er, wrong. His foot caught the top of it, no! and it slingshotted him face first into the concrete. <laughs> this is why you don't jump over the net. You need to take him to the doctor. And she's like, nah, he's fine. Like, well, obviously, his brain isn't fine. No, seriously, he could have a concussion. That was a hard hit. He's all right. He'll shake it off. Dude, so his ex-wife took him to the doctor, and we all just stood around for a while. I don't think he had a concussion, but he did get two black eyes and had to wear sunglasses in class for like a month. And that was cool for me. There you go. Bleh. Yeah, that teacher... That te I would have actually liked to have that teacher because, you know, I, I can relate with crazy people. Bleh. Where was I going with this story? Screw it! But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Possibly share with a friend. If you do, and subscribe to ah! ah! Subscribe and join the family. Also, make sure you go subscribe to Jaden Animations. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop.